Looking at practice it, exercise 5.24 is all vowels. We're going to write a method. So it's going to be a public. And it's going to return true or false. So it has to be a Boolean. And it's called is all vowels. That returns whether a string consists entirely of vowels, case sensitive, insensitive. And so if every character of the string is a vowel, our method is going to return true. If anything is not a vowel, our method should return false. So we're just going to check everything that's passed in. As long as everything is a vowel, it'll return true. So if it hits anything that's not a vowel, it's going to immediately return false. So inside of here, we're going to take a string as input. And then let's set this all to lowercase. So we'll do string is equal to string dot two lowercase. And this is going to make this entire string lowercase and we're storing it back into string. Now we're gonna set up kind of like a index. We're going to set up a little database inside of a string that stores our vowels right here. So this is going to store our A, E, I, O, U. And we're gonna compare it to everything inside of this little index. We're gonna have a for loop because we want it to go through the entire word. So we have in A is equal to zero. And the reason why we're using a for loop, not like a while loop, is because every time this iterates, we're gonna increment through the index. So A is less than the string dot length. And we do A plus plus to increment this the entire time in some other for loop. We are going to make a new character and we are going to get whatever character in our string and we're going to look at that. So we're going to do character, we'll call it current and we'll set it equal to string.char at at this specific index. And then inside of here we have an if statement. Now we want to check the index of this and it's going to be inside of the string which we'll call vowels. So this holds all of our values. So we'll do if vowels dot index of. So we're checking the index of this vowels and we're gonna compare it to our current, right? So we are gonna want to do the current and that's going to get this string. Or what we could do is just cut out this middleman and put, out, put the string inside of here. We could do either or, but we'll just do current inside of here. So we're gonna compare it to this and if it returns one, if this vowels.index of current it returns a negative one, sorry, that means that it is not inside of here. And if it's not inside of here, we're just gonna return false because it's not a vowel. So we could again put all of this inside of here by just using this part. We can end this. If we do run through this entire for loop, we never break out and return false, we'll just return true, and we can close this method. So we can submit it, it's going to run, we pass 9 out of 9 tests, and that is how we would solve practice it, 5.24 is all vowels.